In a showdown of top-ranked teams, the number 14 Indiana women's basketball team delivered a masterclass in defensive prowess, frustrating Caitlin Clark and her no. 4 Iowa squad en route to a commanding 86-69 victory. Indiana's suffocating defense made every point a battle for Clark, the top scorer in NCAA Division I history, as she struggled to find her rhythm against the relentless pressure. Led by head coach Terry Morin, the Hoosiers executed their defensive game plan to perfection, making life difficult for Clark throughout the game. Despite her remarkable talent, Clark found herself facing a barrage of defenders and struggled to find open looks, finishing the game with 24 points on 8 of 26 shooting, including a 3 of 16 mark from beyond the arc. While Clark still managed to fill the stat sheet with 10 assists and 9 rebounds, her frustration was palpable as she grappled with Indiana's tenacious defense. The Hoosiers, rotating defenders and physical play disrupted Clark's rhythm, forcing her into difficult shots and limiting her impact on the game. Meanwhile, Indiana's offensive stars stepped up to the challenge, with Sarah Scalia pouring in 25 points and All-American center Mackenzie Holmes adding 24 points and 9 rebounds. Yardin Garzon also made significant contributions with 15 points, including three crucial three-pointers. The victory was particularly sweet for Indiana, coming off a disappointing loss earlier in the week. Determined to prove themselves, the Hoosiers came out with a chip on their shoulder and dominated from start to finish. The atmosphere at Assembly Hall was electric, with fans packing the arena to witness the highly anticipated matchup. Indiana's defense drew cheers from the crowd, while Clark's rare struggles elicited chants of, air ball, after a particularly errant shot. With the win, Indiana improves to 22-4 on the season and remains in contention for the Big Ten title. However, they will need help in the final two games of the regular season to defend their crown. For Iowa, the loss is a setback in their quest for conference supremacy, as they now trail number. 2 Ohio State in the standings. With three road losses in conference play, the Hawkeyes will need to regroup quickly as they prepare to host Illinois in their next game. Overall, the victory solidifies Indiana's position as a force to be reckoned with in women's college basketball, while Iowa will look to bounce back and regain their footing as they approach the postseason.